Hey folks, Tivik here and welcome to episode 14 of Minecraft Season 5. And I am just finishing up another farm here. It's gonna be a gourd farm, or gourd, G-O-U-R, whatever, I can't remember. G-O-U-R-D. Yep, I have no idea how to pronounce that. If someone knows, tell me. Hey. <laughs> but... I'm finishing it up because I want some melons. Always a need for melons, right? Melons are good. And I've uh, circled it with bricks in a funny pattern here. I'm probably gonna do the same with the other farms, uh, just to sort of like, yeah, limit it off something. We'll see. Um, the melons I need because I want to do this. I want to set up a crafter could probably fit it just underneath that one. So let's do that. Craft fertilizer uh, melon. Let's get the melons here. And one melon makes one seed. So if I put that into my crafting system, plop. Um, Just put it there. I can tell the system to, with a bus, I will need a precision export bus and a level emitter. No, not a heart. Level emitter. If I tell the export bus to craft melon seeds and do that as long as as long as we have one stack of melons I think this is on below limit no it's above limit Oh wait, uh, we're gonna go on seeds. No, as long as we have 64, and uh, we want it to activate with signal. Good, some cables. I've been hard at work with a lot of things in my system. There we go. Now this shouldn't be producing until I have plenty of melons in my system here, but... I think that will go fairly quickly. And I'm gonna take this one seed here. Right, I've been hard at work with a lot of things, especially my bee breeding, and I'm gonna show you that in a moment. But I did a change on this system here. Um, and I actually removed the whole... Uh, the whole system for... Um, for keeping exactly 64, because it turns out it does exactly that itself. So if I now tell it to keep melons in there as well, well, melon seeds, it will. So let's close that up again, like so. And we'll soon be full in biofuel anyhow, so we really won't be getting that much. 57 melons, plop, and it will go on. And it's crafting that as soon as it gets the melons, and it's getting sent into these machines here. Giving the efficiency, uh, increasing the efficiency to 700, which is amazing, I tell you. Oh, I got some funny glitch there. Hmm. Right, so we are getting a lot of a lot of items, uh, especially uh, we are getting plenty of oak saplings because it can't really use them up which is why I've told it to start using oak both types of oak saplings in uh, in the machine uh, right I'm gonna go up here and sleep through the night because I want to show you the bees they're gonna sting me in fact I'm gonna check and see how many wisps do we have 40 I'm gonna need some 200 so not there yet. Right, so, what do we have? 
this one here, I am not breeding anything right now, but I have a set of cultivated, another set of cultivated. I have some forest ones, that one isn't replaced yet. I have some majestic ones. I have two sets of tropical bees, and then I have a common one. The common I'm keeping, because I want to keep one of each species. And uh, I realized that I'm going to need a much bigger bee house. So I'm probably going to expand it in that direction and set up more beehives. Uh, come on. I really need those wisps. This squeezer here has been set up to uh, also receive... Um, oh, not yet, but it will be set up to receive honey drops, or well, honeydew. Uh, but for now, I'm keeping the ones that we get. There we go. Honeycomb. Not being exported. Oh yeah, they will. And eventually, we're gonna see some honey come into this one, hopefully. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh well. So... I need to make more impregnated uh, stuff there, the uh, the sticks, but I can't really do that yet. However, let me take a look here. Is that... yes! Walnut sapling. I have no idea how long I've been waiting for these walnut saplings to show up. I have one already, I need four. That was a silver oak, silver lime. Hmm. Are there any more of these leaf blocks that I can take care of? No. Oh well. Let me just take the trealizer out. The reason why I need four is that the girth is two by two, so we need two by two to get the walnut tree. Kind of annoying. This has some hill cherry in it, but... Oh, wait. Yeah, I need to get these out of this. As well as these, and... Not the jacaranda, because that's... These I could probably just put in... Oh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use the ones that are not breedable. and put them directly in the biofuel engine down there. Watch now when I put the wrong one. <laughs> Spruce. Bamboo. Bamboo is not okay. Hellbark is not okay. Great wood actually I want to keep. I'll just put in the spruce. So it can't take these. Fine. I'm gonna put them away, but... In this one, the common walnut, so I have two of those now. The great wood sapling won't go in there, but the silver lime and the the cherries can go there. The dogs just ran into the house and hit my chair. Oh dear. Oh well. Righty oh. So what to build next? I wanna start building a house or rather a tower here in the area above my base, so that I get a nice, like, wizard's hideout sort of thing. And I want to start on Thorncraft as well, because there are some really cool things that you can do with Thorncraft. And I haven't really done a lot of Thorncraft, so it will be interesting. How's this looking? It's almost empty. I've had some interesting issues with this, uh, where the amount here was up there. So it was overflowing, and then some. It's kind of crazy. So I'm gonna have to figure out a better way. There is another mod called Open Peripherals. However, it isn't compatible with the version of for, uh, power suits that I'm using. I don't think I can revert to a previous version without, without issues, without problems. So we're gonna have to live with that. I'm curious to see these bees, what they get to. I also replaced the chest with an indexer because I will have a lot of bees. Ooh, majestic drone. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna need to start working on getting rid of some of these. I mean, look at these 63 forest drones. I'm not gonna need them. I could need one, maybe two, but not more. So I'm thinking I'll set up a gene pool. And I did make one, but we're gonna need a tank. So let's build up a tank here. Um, with these, I'm gonna need two and that for the DNA. And I'm thinking we'll do the same thing as here. So something like this, about that wide. And get rid of these. There we go. And we're gonna need to expand this. That wasn't really why in what I intended. But I'm gonna have to live with that. It'll work. So, three by three. And the middle one here could be the... Well, will be the, uh, the valve. There we go. So, let's see. It was that high. Like... So, and again, the middle is the valve. Like so, and like so. I'm gonna need some bricks, because that didn't look very good. Well. Something like that. If I do that, and it's three, I have to make it look the same. Oops, that was definitely not intended. I'm gonna need some more glass as well. Breaking glass like that. <sighs> so, I have, I have been thinking about doing a couple of mod spotlights fairly soon. And I think that by the time this episode airs, I might already have one or two up. Um, because a lot of you guys are asking for that. And uh, why not? I mean, if you guys enjoy it, Hey, I'm here to make it fun for you to watch my videos, and if you do enjoy some mod spotlights, I will definitely put some up for you. There you go. And that can go like so. I'm gonna move these frames, well frames, these apiaries over here. And put back the soul frames and chocolate frames that I had in them. There we go, and... Uh, Gene pool. Yep, let's get the gene pool. And let's get some liquid ducts. Yes, bees, I know. Uh, let's also get some conduits. Oh, we don't have a lot of those. But I don't think that that should be a problem. We just need one. There. That goes like so. Now, anything that I put in here will fill up the tank. So, let's uh, get a few of the excess drones that I have. Just gonna grab a couple of forest ones. I thought I'd get the ones that stacked, but okay. And then put one of you guys in there. In fact, I think it's also a good plan to get an analyzer. Hmm. I am wondering how I can do this in an easy fashion. I'm gonna need to set up a build craft ser uh, system because I wanna start identifying these using the machines that we have for that. And considering that the uh, that the analyzer uses up, I think it is. 
Hmm. No, it doesn't actually say how much it uses up. Well, I'll build an analyzer and we'll see. Because putting honey in there should be a good idea. And then we just... Yeah, let's do that. I'm building an analyzer. We're putting the forest drones back. I'm putting these back for now. And uh, we won't need a shard of minium. Can put these away and that and that as well because we're not gonna need them for a while. Build craft. We're gonna build some build craft stuff. So I do have a table already, the assembly table. But we're gonna need some lasers. Oh, laser. And they are kind of expensive, so I'm gonna build five. Let's make it five for now. Or if redstone still... Okay. We're gonna need more conduits. So let's craft up... That's 80 redstone worth. I'm thinking we'll put this table down here. There. And then I'll have the lasers up in a uh, sort of a crown, I don't know, hanging lamp sort of thing. So I'm thinking it's gonna be one, two, three out from the edge. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna do this. And let's see. If I could make it something like this. Ah, hate when that happens. That should be enough. Yep, that'll work. And then let's stand on this one. That position is... I'm gonna write it down, 106. Well, the Y doesn't matter, and 129. Um, that's so I can find out where up here I need to bring down... Okay, so it's fairly far in that direction. That's good, because we have these power lines going there. Um, how are we for conduits now? 19. How are we for materials? Well, everything needs to be crafted. That's alright. And let's break into the wall here. Yeah, they run here. So it's 106. 1, 2, 9. Okay, we need to go down. Oops, that's not intended. Sorry. We need to go down further. Oh, uh, come on. Yeah, so we need to go down exactly at that spot, of course. If I break that and put... This is tricky. Come on. That. Thank you. And that should actually connect that up. Yes, it seems to. Put 
connected. That's good. Let's um, set this like so again and go back up here if I can without breaking my neck. And it needs to go down like this. And that is now connected. Now if I close this up behind me... Sometimes it's very difficult to navigate when you have these jump, this extra jump effect on. So I usually turn it off, but there we go. No trace of me? Perfect. That means I should be able to put in redstone in this. Let's try. Let's get some redstone. We're also going to need some iron. We have some rose red. I wonder where that comes from. I have so much of it. There we go. Let's try this. Gonna make a redstone chipset. We're getting only from that one. That's kind of bad. Oh, there we go. 21 megajoules per tick. I do want to add more. I'll probably add them out on that side. And this will just eject this one to the side, I believe. Yes. So we don't want that. We want to store all these in the ME system. Uh, probably want to make some iron chipsets. But we do want to add more lasers. So let's see. Four lasers. I'm out for diamonds. Okay. Doing good still. Let's see. If I place them... I hope that that one will have the range. More conduits. And that is such an annoying bug. Come on. There we go. Now, how much do we get? Still only 21? No, no, no. 37. Now we're talking. 37 megajoules per tick will be good for the more power-intensive ones that we make. We're gonna need gates. And before we do that, I want to connect this to the ME system. So we're gonna need a precision import bus. Um, one. And what do we need to craft? Everything. How are we for redstone? I'm really, really low on redstone and that worries me a bit. Import bus. We're gonna place this below. If I place it like so, and then we dig out in this direction, because in this direction I happen to have the ME system running. If I go in this direction now. See? Perfect. Now, let's not connect it, because I want to make sure that I have this set up as I want. Move stacks. Now we can connect it.
like that now. It ejected everything. That's not intended. Hmm. Gonna need an interface. I should have thought about that. We have an interface, so let's place that instead. And just break this one and that one. There we go. I want to, just because we are going to be crafting stuff here, I want to set this up so that I have... a terminal here. Put it like so, so we have it in the wall. Let's uh, find that. Do I have a terminal? Nope. Terminal. What do we need? Well, we need a cable. And then we're gonna need one of those. Conversion matrix. Let's craft one. And we wait. Until it's done. It's just two of these, and they should be in here by now. That's them. And we have an access terminal. There. Now I can access this. So I can get the... materials for this easily. Let's put one in there. And make a single redstone chipset. It shouldn't get ejected into the area around. But instead, it should end up there. We have three now, and we had two. Perfect. Now, ender pearls. Let's make pulsating chipsets. And this one is making at 37 megajoules per tick. Can we increase that somehow? Well, I could make one more in the flower, like there. I suppose. But this uses up a lot of energy as well, so I don't want to risk draining my system. Not that I think that's a big problem, but you know. But this takes quite a long time. Hmm. Let's make a few more lasers. Whenever in doubt, make more lasers. Lasers. Four more lasers, and then I'm really low on red. Um, conduits again. And they will go directly on the ceiling next to these. Not entirely sure they can connect. They can't. So... They need to connect to... I think... I think that should do. Oh yes, there we go. What? Did I just... I just lost one. You saw what happened, right? No, now I have it. Whew. We break that one. We add a conduit. We add that one and that one. And the last one would be there and there. Now, we're steaming along at 54 megajoules per tick. That's gonna be enough, isn't it? Yeah. 
even for the more expensive ones. Nice. I like it. Very cool. So, with that, I'm gonna end this episode because I am way over time here. Um, with the pulsating chipsets, I will be able to extract automatically with gates. And the idea I have is that I will have the chest with the bus there so that all the bees go into this chest. Then they are pulled out through there, sent through an analyzer, which is then pulled out and sent into a bee chest. Sounds good. I don't know how to do the actual pulling. As long as this one has inventory, it should be on. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. And, uh, yeah, so that way we will be able to store all the bees in, uh, well, I'll st store all the bees as analyzed. We're also going to need propolis because I need to separate in case an analyzed bee is put into the system, it needs to go separate. And I'm going to put this whole analyzer thing down here, I think. Um, now we have 10 pulsating chipsets. Right. Because I don't really have that much space up in this area and it's raining. I need to get rid of the rain. Uh, I don't have a lot of space up in this area, so the whole sorting system will be there. It will need honey, however, so I'm probably going to set up a crafting system so that it sends in a bucket and gets one bucket of honey and uh, fills the machine with that, but we'll figure out what we want to do with that. Anyhow, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I had fun, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.